I'm sorry you're not coming with me. I'm sorry you're not going in the suitcase. You hate flying. You either. Hello my lovely lovely viewers. Today I just thought it'd be fun to show you sort of how I packed for my recent trip to France and how I put the items together to make outfits. Now I'm not gonna tell you that I'm gonna teach you the French girl way of dressing because being in France teaches me one very important thing. A lot of French people have their own unique individual style. So this was a couple days before the trip. I had everything laid out on the bed. Um, and I did actually make a few changes to this packing list. So as you can see though, I have four blouses, including the blouse I'm gonna wear on the plane. It's just kind of a t-shirt. Um, I packed two dresses as well, two skirts, two cardigans, my jacket, my scarf, a couple pairs of tights, basic underwear, and I ended up taking two pairs of shoes. So this striped dress ends up going. I decided it's not quite right for what I want, so I swapped it for something else. So this is the day of the trip. Pack my multivitamins, some herbal tea, some extra mess, because planes are gross. More herbal tea. And then in the case I have, you know, just kind of basic like accessories, toiletries, etc., that don't need to be in my liquids bag. My hairbrush, my little tripod that I didn't end up using. And then this is the dress I swapped for the stripe one. I decided that the navy one would be a little more versatile because when you're trying to pack light in just a carry-on, it's about mix and match. I wanted to save room in my bag as well, so I rolled everything except for the bulkier items. Now, my pair of boots, so I wanted to wear ballet flats on the plane so they'd be easy to slip off, but I wanted boots because the weather said it was gonna rain. So all my tights and socks got shoved in my boots. My little black backpack that was my daily carry, I put all my underwear and pajamas and such in there. And I even had room for my husband's jacket because the weather was pretty unpredictable on this trip. So large items like jackets, I sort of lined the suitcase with and then pack everything in. But yes, if you have anything bulky like shoes or a bag, you should stuff your clothes in them. That's my advice. And then this is my plain outfit. So I have my green cardigan layered under the jacket, my t-shirt, a wool skirt I just made in like an hour before, which will be on my Patreon vlog, and a scarf. So um, there really was no day two outfit because so day one is flying day two was um getting from the airport to my friend's house and it was kind of a disaster because the trains were not running from cdg airport so we needed to get the like out of city trains and they were closed so we had to wait for a bus for two hours and then take the bus into the city and take a different train it was Ooh, it was a long and tiring day and so I ended up basically being in the same clothes that whole time, which is not ideal. Um, but yeah, so day three was a pretty quiet day. We mostly just actually spent time with some friends here in France um, and took a nice walk in a lovely sort of forest garden. So, yep, so I just wore my white blouse with this dress as like a kind of jumper and I wore my leather boots. Day four is my black tank dress and a simple cardigan, just a simple chic outfit that was really easy to move around in um, and I layered it with a scarf for when it got a little chilly later in the evening. <laughs>
So I will show you the outfit I wore today. It's the end of the day though, so we just got back. <sighs> discovery about this skirt and I said I actually don't like to wear it if I'm walking around and being very active. The fabric is kind of stiff and if I'm carrying any sort of bag, I thought it was like before if my crossbody bag would kind of catch it and pull it but even my backpack like at the small of my back it was like hiking it up. I don't know maybe it's because the the cotton has kind of a papery Texture? I'm not sure. Alors, comment s'est passé ton voyage entre New York et Paris? Ah, uh, not not great. Um, it was it was long and it was very cramped because we flew a very budget airline and um, I did not sleep at all. <laughs> so I was pretty tired when we got here. But you know, we made it safely, so it's okay. Et du coup, euh, depuis que tu es arrivé à Paris? Uh, comment se passe ton voyage? So so far on the trip. Um, how, how it's going? It's it's so far, you know, we're a little over halfway through. Um, it's been pretty good. Uh, I got a little bit sick, um, and my feet are hurting a bit. But you know, I'm surviving, and I'm glad to be here. And we have some really good weather. It was supposed to rain like the whole time, and we're having some really beautiful beautiful weather here. So I can't be too upset. Um, you know, we we saw some really nice sights, so it's my second time in Paris, but it's my husband's first time. So it was nice, uh, even though I wasn't feeling well, he got to take the scooter around and explore some of like the night view of Paris and stuff. So I think it, I think everyone's having a good time. We're here at Sacre Coeur today, um, and it's really beautiful, so I will insert some shots of that into this video. Alors, euh, peut-être euh, une question, ça serait quelles sont euh, expectations versus reality. <laughs> Don't remember in French. <laughs> You've been speaking too much English with us. We'll dub it over later. <laughs> we will dub it over. Oh yeah. Uh, real French speaking. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I think for I, my expectations for myself on this trip, I guess I thought I would probably like do everything but you know I think recognizing your limitations has been really important um, and if you're really feeling sick not pushing through um, because you won't enjoy anything that you're doing um, so I think I had to remember I'm not like in my 20s anymore so I can travel a little more slowly and just really enjoy it I think that's my reality now um, I think for a lot of people, you know, coming to Paris, they think it's all going to be really beautiful and it's really romantic, but you know, it's still a place where everybody lives. So not everything is beautiful, romantic, there's construction, there's dog poop, you know, so it's important to remember it's somebody's hometown, not just a tourist destination. Did you, for example, did you expect to do some of your things and plan change? So, what did you expect to see? And maybe now that if you see it, uh, the feeling is different. Mm. Um, I don't know. I think I try not to have too many expectations when I'm going somewhere because I and I also try not to plan too many things because I want to see a place without like imposing my opinion on it until I know what it's really like. So actually. So the first time I came to Paris, like six and a half years ago, 
Um, I didn't think I was gonna like it, so I didn't plan that much, and I didn't plan to stay very long. I was like, it's probably really overhyped, so I'm going to just let go, walk around, we'll see. We'll see, you know. I was actually very, like, not negative, but I was like, hmm, Paris, you know, everybody goes to Paris. I had just spent a few weeks in Lyon, and all my friends in Lyon told me, like, Paris isn't so great. I probably, you know, it's competition between cities. Um, but then I got here and I was like, okay, I like it. It's nice. I want to explore it more. Um, I think it's a very photogenic city because of the beautiful, like, light color, like, brick and stone. I think it's really photogenic. Um, I think the Eiffel Tower is probably disappointing. We haven't gone on this trip, but I went on my last one, and I think a lot of people go there to see the city view. And it's really not the best view. It's really not the best view of Paris. It's just okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of places there are just too much tourists. It's Sorry. disappointing, but you have beautiful place of Paris mm -hmm. that you must see on your trip. Yeah. But some people they don't even try or care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, what did you enjoy the most so far? So far? Well, I really like spending time with you and your family. It's nice to just visit with friends as well. It's not just tourist stuff, but also just like visiting your, your family across the sea. Um, so that was really nice. Um, you know, I think the first day, I think walking around as it was like the sun was setting, Um, and we were sort of around like Opera and stuff like that. It was really beautiful and we saw some just really nice night views of the city and took some nice pictures. I feel like that was really fun. Um, like Paris in the evening is really beautiful, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. On the seventh day, we got out of Paris into the countryside to a medieval town called Provence. It's really nice and I'm definitely going to vlog a little bit more about this part of the trip in the future um, but if you really want to see historical France it's a great place to go I just wore the navy blue dress again with the gray sweater over it and a pair of tights it was pretty warm this day that seemed to be the theme of the trip it was always warmer than we expected but what can you do complain about good weather Kind of, yes. I like it when it's uh, chilly and crisp in the autumn. On day eight, the highlight of the day was going to the Clooney Museum. Again, I will be hopefully making another vlog uh, that we'll talk about this a little bit more in the future. It is a really great spot that is not as busy as places like the Louvre, and if you like history, It's kind of a must-see, I think, in Paris. I wore the black dress again with my green cardigan this time. And on day nine, I didn't really get a lot of footage because we were just kind of chilling. I wore the white dotted blouse with the blue striped skirt again, even though I'm not crazy about the skirt. You know, when you're limited on packing, you must do what you must do. Highly recommend checking out the night view around the Louvre if you don't want it to be too packed. Um, but be careful. Day 10, we tried to go to the National Library, but there was like a half hour long wait to get inside. I've never seen a library with such a waiting list, but fortunately it's right by the Gallery Vivienne, so we went and checked that out instead. And uh, I wore a sweater I bought on the trip. Ooh, cheating, I know. Um, but I paired it with the wool skirt and a collar I made. As far as clothing purchase on this trip, I bought two sweaters. Um, that's pretty much it, but I think they're pretty cute. And here's our bonus outfit uh, for the airplane again with the other sweater I purchased on this trip. They were cute merino wool sweaters that I got in the men's section. So uh, don't let your dreams be dreams. Right, guys? <laughs>